So, in my opinion, before learning something new, it's a good idea to see what kind of resources are available first. So, today I just wanted to share some of the most useful tools that I have found that I think might help you save some time. There's quite a bit of awesome stuff actually, so let's start with the shaders. Now I really wanted to know what kind of shader Yuli uses for his awesome anime characters. And like a true bro, he hooked me up with the one he thinks is the best. It's called Kiri. If you follow the link in the description, you can download it, and don't worry about the Japanese, all you gotta do is append it to your project and it should be in English. If you don't wanna use that, then for a whopping unbelievable price of $2, you can just download the Genshin Impact shader from ArtStation straight into Blender. It's specifically designed for Eevee, and it's probably better than anything you could ever make yourself. Assuming that's the style you're going for. Now let's talk references. References are super useful because you can learn a lot real fast just by looking at it. And everyone has their own methods. So you can see how a lot of different artists approach the same problem. This model for example was made by Ruki. You can get it for five bucks from the beer fundraising campaign. It's a beautiful work of art. And from it you can easily tell what kind of modifiers she uses, where she uses them. And you can see how she lays out the topology in the tricky areas like the knees, elbows, fingers, how she did the hair, and how things on the face like the eyelashes, brows, and mouth were created. And here's what I was kind of talking about last video. When you're doing anime style, the ends always justify the means. All that matters is that final look. If you're a photorealistic modeler, then this topology might really horrify you. But what you have to remember is that this topology is specifically designed to maximize total control of the facial lighting. If you look closely, you'll actually see that there's no eyeballs. It's an empty void that's been painted white with flow and irises. In a way, everything is just an illusion. But that's okay because you would never figure that out by looking at the final render. And that's why I said the more you want to do anime style, the more you're probably going to have to break from conventional modeling techniques. If you look on ArtStation, there's a lot of example anime characters you can buy for almost nothing, and it can really help you get a feel for and reverse engineer their techniques for your project. And again, you're going to see a lot of different methods for accomplishing this look. But the only thing that matters is the end game. Whatever method you find that works best for you, that's the one you should adopt. Now this is all cool, but you probably want to know how do the Japanese do it? What workflow, what tools and techniques do the creators themselves use when making a beautiful anime character? There's got to be some sort of standard you could follow, right? Of course there is. Japan's been making anime longer than you've been alive. There is a proper science to it. And that's why whenever I'm lost model in anime, I always look to Kaoru Sakaki. Now Sakaki is a man of focus commitment, and sheer culture. A fantastic human being if I ever saw one, who works as a professional AAA anime figurine modeler. And by the grace of God, he has put all of his awesome workflow tools online for free, available for you to download right now. You wanted a base body that meets professional Japanese anime standards? Well look no more, there it is. You wanted the most ideal anime head shape? There it is. Have you ever wondered how to make anime clothing? Well, there's an anime cloth brush. What about hair? How do you make that. Not a problem, use the anime hairbrush. It's literally all right there. He even has a video demonstrating how to use these tools in case you want to make your own. So be sure to check out his amazing stuff if you get the chance. I hope that helps and as always hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.